My name is Teacher Aimee from Mandaluyong High School, and I am going to discuss with you about operations on integers. So the first lesson is addition of integers. Here are the rules in adding integers. First, to add integers with the same signs, add their absolute values and copy the common sign. So let us visualize it. So when the two integers that you are adding are both uh, positive, then the sign of the sum is also positive. And if you are uh, adding two integers that are both negative, then the sign of the sum is also negative. Okay? So for our next rule, to add integers with different signs, subtract their absolute values and copy the sign of the integer with the greater absolute value. Now let us visualize it. If the sign of the integers are different, like this, Okay, then you are going to subtract their absolute values or the numbers and then copy the sign of the integer with greater absolute value. So in this case, you see that positive bubble here is bigger than the negative bubble. So you copy the positive sign. Okay, and in this case, the sign or the negative bubble is bigger than the positive bubble, so you copy the negative sign, okay? And now I am going to teach you a song for you not to forget the rules in adding integers. Just sing this song to the tune of Row, Row, Row Your Boat, okay? Come on, sing with me. Same sign, add and keep different signs of draft. Keep the sign of higher number and it will be exact. Same sign, add and keep different signs of draft. Keep the sign of higher number and it will be exact. Okay, so same sign here means that they are like signs. Okay, you are going to add and keep means you are going to copy the common sign. Then different sign here means what? Unlike sign. So you are going to subtract them. So keep the sign of higher number means the absolute number. Okay? And then your answer will be exact. And now let's take a look at the examples. Okay? Give the sum of each of the following numbers. So number 1 is 3 plus negative 11. If you notice, they have different sign. So what is the answer? So you are going to subtract them, right? And then copy the sign of the higher absolute or the greater absolute number. So therefore, the answer is negative 8. Okay? Next, number 2 is negative 17 plus negative 5. So, since they have the same sign, what are you going to do? Just add them and then copy the sign. So, the answer is negative 22. Next, number 3, we have positive 35 plus negative 45. Again, they have different signs. So, you are going to what? Subtract them, right? So, copy the sign of the higher number or higher absolute. So, that is negative. Okay, next number 4 is negative 13 plus positive 20. Okay, so different sign again, you will subtract them. So the sign of the higher absolute number is what? Positive. So positive 7 is the answer. Number 5, 21 plus negative 15. Okay, they have different signs, so you are going to subtract again. Okay, so therefore the answer is positive 6. Now let us proceed to a subtraction of integers. But before we proceed to the rule of subtracting integers, we will recall first 
the parts of a subtraction sentence. Now, let's take a look at this. 10 minus 6 is equal to 4. So, we call 10 here as minuend. And 6 is our subtrahend. 4 is the answer. That is the difference. Okay? And also, this symbol is the subtraction symbol or the minus sign. Okay? And we have the equal sign. Okay? So, the rule in subtracting integer is to add the opposite of the subtrahend to the minuend. So, in symbols, A minus B is equal to A plus negative B, where A represents the minuend and B represents the subtrahend. Here are the steps in subtracting integers. So, first is to copy the minuend and then change the operation to addition. Change the sign of the subtrahend and then apply the rules in adding integers. And for you not to forget the rule in subtracting integers, you should remember the KCC, where in K means keep, C means change, and C change again. So for our example here, 10 minus 16, you are going to keep 10, okay? You keep the minuend, just copy it, and then you are going to change, okay, the minus sign to, of course, addition sign or the plus sign, okay? Because you are going to add the opposite, okay? And then change, what? Change the sign of the subtrahend. So our subtrahend here is 16, positive 16. So it will become negative 16. And then you proceed to addition rule. Okay? So since they have different sign, you are going to subtract again. Okay? So 10, 16 minus 10, that is 6. Okay? And then copy the sign of the higher absolute number. So, that's why the answer is negative 6. Okay? And now, we are going to subtract the following integers. So, for our number 1 example, we have 12 minus 5. So, using the KCC pattern, so we will keep 12, then change the sign to plus sign or addition sign, and then change the sign of... Five, okay, the opposite of positive 5 is negative 5. So we have 12 plus negative 5 is equal to 7 or positive 7. Okay, for number 2, we have 4 minus 7. So we are going to keep 4, then plus change from 7 to negative 7. So we have 4 plus negative 7 is equal to negative 3. For our number 3, we have 11 minus negative 6. So we have 11 plus negative 6 will become positive 6. So that will give us 11 plus 6 is equal to 17. For number 4, we have negative 15. Okay, plus. So this is positive 5. That will become, or this will become negative 5. So, we have negative 15 plus negative 5 is equal to negative 20. And for our last example, so we have negative 19 minus negative 13. So, we will keep negative 9, then change to plus sign, and then negative 13 will become positive 13. Okay? So, we have negative 9 plus 13 is equal to positive 4 or simply 4, okay? And now we have multiplication of integers. The rules in multiplying integers, first, the product of two integers with the same sign is positive, okay? Look at the picture here. So, positive times positive, 
Therefore, it is positive. So negative times negative is equal to positive. And the next rule is the product of two integers with different sign or unlike sign is negative. Okay? Look at this. Positive times negative is equal to negative. Negative times positive is equal to negative. See? They are different signs. Now we are going to multiply the following integers. Okay, for number 1, 4, we have 4 times 7. So the sign of 4 is positive, right? And then the sign of 7 is also positive. So they have the same sign. So therefore, the product will become positive 28. Okay, next we have negative 6 times positive 9. So the sign of 6 is negative positive. So they have different signs, so that will become negative, right? Then multiply the number, so we have negative 54. For num number 3, we have negative 7 times negative 6. We have negative times negative. So they have dif the same signs, so that will become positive. So 7 times 6, so we have positive 42. Okay, number 4. So we have 9 times negative 4. We have positive times negative. So different sign. So negative. Okay. So that will become negative 36. And for our fifth example. So we have three numbers here. Three integers. Okay. So we have 3 times negative 4 times negative 2. So we have positive times negative times negative, okay? So that will give you positive. So the answer here is positive 24, okay? Now let's move on to division of integers. The rules in dividing integers are the same with the rules in multiplying integers, okay? So, the first rule, the quotient of two integers with the same sign is positive. So whenever you divide two integers with the same sign, okay, the sign of the quotient is positive. Okay, negative divided by negative, positive ang quotient. Okay, and the quotient of two integers with different signs is negative. Okay, so positive divided by negative is equal to negative. And negative divided by positive is equal to negative. For our examples, we are going to divide the following integers. So we have 24 divided by 3. Okay, so the sign of 24 is positive divided by positive. So they have the same sign. Of course, the answer is positive. 8. Okay? Number 2, we have negative 45. So that's negative divided by 5. Positive 5. So different sign. So that is negative. So 45 by 5, that is negative 9. Okay? Next, we have negative 81 divided by negative 9. So again, the sign of this is negative and negative. So the same sign. So the quotient sign is positive. So therefore, the answer is positive 9. Okay, number 4. So 108 divided by negative 9. So positive divided by negative, that will give you negative. So therefore, the answer is negative 12. And number 5, we have negative 63 divided by negative 9. So, negative divided by negative. So, again, they have the same sign. So, that will give you positive. So, the answer here is positive 7. Okay? Thank you for watching.